Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a little image carousel for you there. It's changing images every three seconds. And when I hover over it, you're going to have some text appear. And we can roll on to the next one. And the same thing. And you have different text over each image. Somebody was asking how to do this in the comments below. Really easy to do. I'm using the Divi slider module for this today. We've got to write one little line of CSS code, but don't let that bother you. Any CSS I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to copy and paste it as usual. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, and if I go down, I've got a section here, the blue tab with a row, the green tab. And I've got a little slider module here, the dark tab. So let's start from scratch. I'm just going to add a new one over here. Hit the little dark button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you have WooCommerce installed, it'll also give you a dozen more to display your products with. I'm going to use a regular Divi slider module today for this. So I'm just going to left click on it. And it will automatically put in a slide for us in that right hand there. Okay, just to save on confusion, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one that we've got over here. So let's close that and we'll delete this one. There we go. Now we go back into this one. And here we've got our little slider module. Okay. So at the moment it puts in two slides. I'm going to delete the second one. And we'll start working on this first one. Let's go in there. And for our purposes today, I'm going to delete the title and the button. If you want a button, just leave it in there. It will be better to put a link down in the description. and You'll find out why in a little while. So I'm going to delete the button and the title. I'm going to leave our description down here, but I want to add a title to the actual description itself. So let's drop that down. Put in whatever you want to, your title to say up there. As you can see, it says it up there. Let's make it into an actual title by selecting it, going up to the paragraph box up here, hit the little chevron, and the list. Let's make it a heading too. Great, so we got some text and we got a title. Obviously, I haven't got any real text. You'd have real text in there, presumably. <laughs> so let's go down now and take care of the background part. I'm not going to use image and video on this today. But if you wanted to link any of your images to anything, you can go into the link down below here. If you're using a button, you can put a button link in there. Otherwise, the whole module itself, you can make that link to somewhere right here or the actual slide, this particular slide, by putting a URL in there to take your people where you want them. Always best practice. If you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's go down to the background and we're going to turn this into an image slider. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a color background in here. I'm going to put the color black in and you'll see why in a little bit. I'm also going to go and put an image in. Here's the image. Add our background image and put in whatever slide you want to put in. Okay, so we've got our image in there right now. It's that cityscape, but I can't really read that writing very well. And that's kind of why I put the black color in, in the color right here. If I roll down, we're still on the image. As you can see, we've got the image here on the image setting. If I roll down, you've got a background image blend here. If I flip this to multiply, it'll turn it black. It's just multiplied it with our black color there. So now we can go back to our actual black color. Here we are. And when we're not hovering over it, I don't want to see, all I want to see is the image itself. I don't even want to see the writing, but we'll take care of the writing in a minute. But I want to see the whole of the image. So common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing up here, these little icons will appear. If there's an arrow there, there is in this case, we can set 
desktop state when the mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it. When the mouse is not on it, I just want to see a crystal image. So I don't want any colored background in there. So I'm going to click on the color field. Second slider, variegated slider here. It's called opacity or transparency or see-throughness. I'm going to take this all the way down. So that black is totally transparent like it's not there. Then when we hover over, I want that black to darken down so we can read our writing a bit better. You see it coming in there. So I'm going to put it to about 50%. I can read that pretty well. I can also see the picture. So when we're not hovering over, we've got a clear picture. I know the text is there, but we'll take that away in a minute. And when we are hovering over, we're going to have a little darkened out background there so that we can read the text better. Great. Okay, the next thing I want to do is actually clone this so we've got another slide and then set an actual fixed height for this so that when we go to different devices it still displays the correct aspect. So we'll save this, it'll take us back to our main slider settings. And if we roll up, here's our new slide here. Now before I add a new one, I'm going to go over to design. Let's set our sizing on this. Let's roll down to sizing, main slider settings, design tab, down to sizing. If you're in one of your slides, you won't see these settings. So if you don't see them, you'll probably in a slide rather than the main slider settings. And I want to go down to height. And I reckon that's about 300 pixels on desktop. So I'm going to put in 300 pixels. Just put in the 300, it'll put in the pixels for you. Looks like it's slightly adjusted it a little bit there. But let's check it on tablet and mobile and make sure it's going to be the right aspect on those. And again, if you hover over this dark writing, you'll see some icons appear. Go to the one you want, in our case, height. If there's a little mobile phone icon, click on it. We've now got desktop, tablet and phone. Click on tablet and let's see what this thing looks like on a tablet. Okay, well, it's not quite deep enough. That image is not quite deep enough for me. So I'm going to make the actual height on the tablet perhaps 400 pixels or even 350. Let's try 350. Yeah, that looks about right aspect wise to me. Let's check it on mobile. And it's a little too deep on the mobile. May need to leave it like that purely because of the amount of text. So I'm not going to adjust it on the mobile. If you wanted to, you could put a different height in there, but I'm going to leave that like that because looking at the amount of text we got, it's going to need to be that tall. So we've got that on mobile, got that on regular tablet, and we've got this on desktop. So it's staying the right height for us on all of these devices. Fantastic. Great. Well, now we can go back to our content. And I really want to make this text disappear when we're not hovering over it. So let's go in here and we this is where the little code comes in. We'll go into our slide. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab to the custom CSS. I'm going to go down to the actual slide description container. Remember, we got rid of our title in the content here and we made a new title inside the actual content container here, which is this little text part, text field right here. So if we go back there, rolling down to that content slide description container right here. Again, it's got a little hover state. So let's click on this. On the desktop state, I don't want to see any of this writing whatsoever. So I'm just going to write opacity. That's see-throughness or transparency if you want. I'm going to put zero semicolon. As you can see or as you can't see it's disappeared there. Then when we hover over it, if I bring up the hover state, it's darkened down a bit. I'm going to say opacity colon one semicolon. And that'll bring it back for us like that. Opacity runs from zero to one. Zero being totally transparent, one being fully visible. And you can increment up 0 0.1, 0 0.2, etc. to get different levels of transparency. That's going to work for me. The only slight problem we got is the time that Divi takes to get from here to here by default 300 milliseconds. 
Because we're doing this in the custom CSS field, it's doing it sort of instantly. So I'm going to slow this down a bit with a bit of transition duration. And we do this in the desktop state, not the hover state. So after the semicolon, I'm going to say transition dash duration colon. I'm going to give mine about half a second. So I'm going to say 0.5s semicolon. And that'll slow it down. So our writing comes in in about half a second from desktop to regular state there. Okay, well, I think if we've done everything correctly, we can just add some more slides and get this working now. So let's save this. We'll go back to our main slider settings again. There we are. Let's clone this. We'll go into it. Let's call it my title two, so we can disturb. And obviously we'll put a different image in the background. Don't need to go through all the fades and everything. All we need to do is change the image out because we've got that already. So here's the black background image. Pop in there. Pop in a different one. Save this one. Back to our content again. Rinse and repeat for however many times. I'm just going to do three here today. Go in there. Go into our background image. Swap this out for a different one. Great. Okay, and when I hover over, we've got navigation arrows. I'm going to leave those, but I'm going to take the little pagination dots away there. And to do that, still, if we save this, go into the main slider settings. If we roll down roll back up I should say just under our slides we've got elements show arrows I'm gonna leave the arrows and I'm gonna take away the controls which are the pagination dots there and if you want to decorate your arrows you can do that in design and navigation you've got here you can de decorate them however you wish the only other thing I want is I want for this to rotate automatically I don't want people to have to click on anything to make it rotate to the different images so still on the design tab in the main slider settings. Let's go all the way to the bottom. We've got animation. Now, if you don't see this automatic animation switch, you're probably in one of your slides rather than the slider settings. So make sure in, you're in the regular slider module, not in one of your slides here. So design at the bottom. We've got automatic animation. I'm going to switch that one to on. 7,000 milliseconds is every seven seconds, just because I don't want to wait that long for this video. <laughs> I'm going to make it three seconds, so 3,000 milliseconds. And I want it to stop when I hover over it, so I'm going to leave that to off. If you want it to not stop when they hover over it, just switch that to on and it'll keep rolling even when their mouse is on it. Okay, if you've done everything correctly now, this should work perfectly. Let's save our settings. We'll save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. So there we go, guys. We've got our little image carousel there. It's revolving images every three seconds. When I hover over it, it's going to darken down. And we're going to get a different bit of text on each one. There's that one for that one. You can roll along or wait for it to roll. But if you want to increment, you can do so with the arrows. And we've got a different text on here etc etc so there you go guys there's how to create an image carousel with text overlay on hover nice little feature to have on your site i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.